You've probably heard something about the stack and tilt swing, developed by teachers Andy Plummer and Mike Bennett. Several tour players have switched to it in recent years. As Plummer and Bennett describe it, the key to stack and tilt is that it's a mechanically simpler way of hitting the golf ball. In the traditional swing, they say, the body shifts to the right on the backswing and then shifts to the right through impact. And somewhere in the middle, you have to find the ball. It's like hitting a moving ball. With stack and tilt, they keep the center of the shoulders and the center of the hips in one place on the backswing. They just turn in a circle like this. There's no move to the right side. So it really, as they say, simplifies contact, getting the club back down on the ball. We recently ran an article in Golf Digest called Six Steps to Stack and Tilt, the six key moves you have to know to try and learn this swing. But if you want to see what Andy and Mike do out on the lesson tee with their students, try this simple drill. Take a tee and scratch a line in the grass like this. Go ahead and set up to that line as if it were the ball. And you want to practice trying to take divots on the target side or the forward side of that ball. Go ahead and set up. Just make a swing. Now to get that divot in front of the line, Plummer and Bennett say you have to do a couple of things that are really key to stack and tilt. One is you have to have your weight on your left side at impact. And the other one is you have to have the shaft angled forward at impact. Okay, let's take a quick look at the first one. They would say set a little bit more weight on your left side, then turn your shoulders and hips in a circle, which keeps your weight there, and it'll be there at impact. The second one has to do with the angle of your right arm to the shaft at address. You want to maintain that angle all the way through. You can hinge your wrists up and down, but no side to side wagging of the club like this. That tends to lengthen the radius of the swing back here, and you'll run it into the ground. So remember, the biggest thing with stack and tilt is solid contact. Try this line drill. It's a basic test of stack and tilt, and it might just be right for you. Located on the south end of the Grand Strand in Myrtle Beach, you'll find two South Carolina golf masterpieces. Wilbrook Plantation winds its way amid a century-old oak forest. Carved out of two plantations, you'll find Wilbrook to be a challenging 18-hole layout that will inspire you with its beauty, yet provide a demanding test of golf. Named the 2007 Myrtle Beach Course of the Year, Wachasaw Plantation East was built on the site of a century-old rice plantation. Architect Clyde Johnston has created a taste of Scotland while still maintaining that Carolina and low country atmosphere. Wilbrook Plantation and Wachasaw Plantation East are Myrtle Beach golf at its finest.